So this is a video uh, that a lot of people have been asking for. I see questions all the time on this stuff. It is no secret that print on demand is more popular than it has ever been. Every single day, new people are opening print on demand stores. More people than ever are moving to Shopify. And the capabilities that we have as sellers is just continuing to evolve. What I mean by that is there has never been a better time to start a print on demand store. There has never been a time to start a Shopify store where we have so much opportunity as there is right now. There is a trend that is growing inside of print on demand and it is not a trend that you need to uh, jump on right now, right? It's a trend that is growing and is, is something that can work for a lot of people. It's something that can work in certain niches very well, but I don't want to give the impression that this trend is something that you must do and if you don't do it, then you are going to fail. That's not what this is. Selling personalized custom products is something that not only are print on demand sellers having a lot of success with but even big businesses are beginning to offer personalization things that customers of theirs can do we have seen over the last few years various companies create different ways for their customers to create a customized version a personalized version of their product for themselves when it comes to print on demand I am talking about things uh, like this where people are going on to print on demand stores stores and they're submitting uh, a an image and then the store is putting that image and when I say putting they're actually reworking the image into something amazing and they're putting it into their design to create a one-of-a-kind product there are also lots of stores that are experimenting uh, with personalization in terms of allowing the buyer to add some sort of a custom message or custom text to the product and there's even stores that are experimenting with both where they are allowing images and text to be customized on print on demand products why is this important well a couple things one is as print on demand becomes more popular there's a lot more sellers and sometimes people are exploring personalization so that they can get a competitive edge over other people another reason this is important as marketing costs continue to rise as this business model becomes more competitive your profit margins are ever more important and when you're selling a personalized item you can charge more for it recent studies have shown that people are willing to pay more for a personalized item. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about these steps that you need to take in order to explore some of this. And we'll jump into it right after this. All right, folks, so like I said, uh, we're gonna jump into some uh, stuff about personalization today. My name is Joe Robert. Uh, I make videos here on my channel to help people start, grow, and scale print on demand stores. If you guys want to access uh, a completely free course, completely free uh, training that outlines my three pillars to a successful print on demand store, check the link down in the description. It'll walk you through tons of strategies that I use and strategies that I've been teaching for the last couple of years to people to create awesome print on demand products that sell. Like I said, that link is down in the description. But today in this video, we're going to be talking uh, about personalization, right? And mainly the steps that you uh, are going Going to need to take right when it comes to deciding that you want to do personalization the first thing that you are gonna to have to decide is what type of personalization uh, do you want to do right I talked about earlier how there's a couple different ways we can do this we can take an image from a customer do something to it and then put it into our design right we're gonna call that for the sake of this video image personalization there's also going to be uh, the option where we can just create something and allow somebody to uh, change the text for the sake of this video that is going to be called text-based personalization. The third option, like I said earlier, is where we're going to do both, right? We're going to do a combo of text and image for the sake of this video. We're going to call that the combo method. Now, obviously there's benefits to all of these. I think it really depends mostly on what your niche is, right? Like what is, what, what's your actual niche? What are you selling? Who are you selling to? What makes sense to personalize the item? Honestly, not every niche is going to be great for personalization. If I could give you one tip on actually trying to figure out what sort of personalization you would wanna do is pick something that makes 
sense. You want your personalized idea, right? Whatever you're allowing them to personalize to be easy. You don't want them to have to think about it too much. You don't want to allow someone to customize uh, the address of the first pl uh, the first place they kissed their, their spouse. Most people don't know that information off the top of their head. If you wanted to do something like that, well, then maybe you pick the city, right? Instead of the address. Does that make sense? You want to make sure that whatever you're doing for personalization is that it makes sense for what you're doing and it's very easy for someone to do it. You don't want your customer to feel as if they are doing extra work to customize your product. Now, once you actually figure out what it is you want to do, the next step is creating the design. Most stores that are selling personalized products, if you go onto them, they will almost have an example. So that way when customers go on the store, they can see uh, exactly exactly what it is the end product is going to look like. This means that you're going to need to mock up the design and basically show people where they can customize things, what images go where and things like that. This will be called your template, right? You're going to need to basically create the product and show people exactly what it is they are going to be receiving. Hopefully that makes sense. The next step is you're going to need to be able to have some way so that when someone comes on your store and they want to buy from you to actually get the information from them. Whatever type of personalization you're doing, whether it's image, text, or combo, you're going to need to get that info from them. Example, let's say you are selling a product and it involves a customer uploading an image to your site so that way you can customize the image. You're going to need to be able to get that image from the customer. Another example, let's say that you are going to be doing text-based personalization. You are going to need to be able to get the text, right? You need to know what they actually want uh, the text to say. And obviously, if you are doing combo, you're going to need all three. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this, right? The easiest way is to install an app on your store. Now, there are going to be multiple apps that allow you to do this. You have probably been on stores, even some of the ones I've been showing so far in this video, where on the product page, there is a field for the customer to input this information and even upload any images that they want included in the design. Now, you don't need any coding or any special things like that on your store. This is rather straightforward. You literally just need to go to the Shopify app store and check out some of the apps that are in there. I am putting a few of them on the screen. Honestly, there is several that are going to allow you to do this. Now, one thing to note is most of these apps are paid. Some of them are going to have free trials, but for the most part, all of them are going to cost money. That is because they are doing something really cool for us. So we're going to have to pay for them if we want to do personalization on our store. So once you figure out uh, which app you want to use, you gotta figure out how to set it up. And honestly, this is uh, very straightforward. You need to go through uh, and through the app, there'll likely be some instructions in there. It'll tell you what type of things to put on your product page in terms of which fields you want, which information you're trying to collect from your customer. And once you set all of that up, it's going to allow someone to browse in your store and give you the information that you need. Once somebody places their order and they upload their image or input the text that they want, you're going to receive all of that information from them. And now you are going to have an order right on your on your store and you're going to now need to fulfill it right and there's a couple of different things that could potentially happen right think back right I told you that you're going to need to create your template you're going to need to create something that shows them exactly uh, what it is you're creating right you're basically creating a mock design uh, and putting it on your store now the first way you could do this is literally create that design go into the print on demand app that you are using and create that product now here's the problem if someone goes on your store and and uh, is browsing and they decide to make a purchase with you and they give you the personalized information that they want because you created that product with the print on demand app they're immediately going to start producing it based on the design that you uploaded. So based on your template, based on your generic version of your product, it's not going to have the personalization that the buyer wants in it. So there's two things here, maybe, maybe three, honestly, there's a couple different things that you're going to need to do. 
Okay, there's a couple different ways that we that we can do this. The first is you can do manual personalization. I'm going to talk about this one first because it takes a little bit longer uh, and it's a little bit uh, more time consuming, but I want to really explain it so that way you fully understand this process. When I say manual personalization, what I'm talking about is manual fulfillment of the order. Basically, what you would be doing is creating a template, right? Creating the, the mock-up, right? When you upload Upload your design showing the customer like an example of what can be personalized you are just going to create that as a manual product you're not actually going to upload it to the print on demand app basically what you need to do is you need to get yourself uh, a mock-up showing uh, exactly what it is that you are going to be selling and then you go into your store you click on products and then you create a product you upload that design and now you have a listing on your store that someone can buy that is not actually tied to a print on demand app. That way when someone buys it, it's not going to get printed with your default template explainer type of image. The next step of this is you would need to actually go and do the personalization. Whether you're doing image only or text only or combo, you would actually need to go and do that personalization. Now obviously, depending on the scope of what you're doing, you're going to spend more time. You may even need to hire someone. If you are doing simple personalization uh, like this, then you could probably do this yourself, right? R regardless of your graphic design experience, you would just open the file and you would change the text and then you would do what I'm going to tell you in a minute. Now, let's say that you are doing something a little bit more advanced where you're taking someone's image and you're reworking it. That might require you to work with a designer. That might require you to actually spend some time doing it yourself if you have the talent. Regardless though, you need to then rework the design and create the final version, the personalized item uh, that the customer is going to receive. What you would then do is you would upload that as an actual product to your print on demand app. So you would take that new design file with the personalization in it and you would upload it into uh, your store into the print on demand app. And then you would go to your orders tab and you would create a manual order and you would plug in all of that customer's information and fulfill it inside of your store. And now the print on demand app that you had sent the design to with all the personalization inside of it will begin producing that item and sending it to your customer. Now, obviously that can take some time, right? Fulfilling those manual orders like that, that can take some time. You also sometimes can run into the fact that your customer is going to receive multiple confirmations emails. Now you definitely could go into your settings, you could change things and make sure that someone's not receiving too. But if all that is just too much work for you, there are some print on demand apps that have some personalization features built in that make a lot of this much easier. Now the first one is Printful. If you go into the Printful app, you can see some of the different features that they have where your buyer can actually customize right inside of your product page. You don't need any of these additional apps. You can do it all with Printful. And then once they input all of that stuff you don't need any other apps you don't have to create manual orders printful just sort of takes care of everything for you now in terms of actually creating something really dynamic this might be a little bit of a limiting uh, type of feature because if you're doing anything advanced with like changing someone's image or something like that you're not going to be able to do that automatically in printful obviously printful is not going to take someone's image and turn it into something completely different if you wanted to explore that there are some other options out there the first First one is the Shine On Jewelry app. Now, Shine On has a feature. It is called the Artwork Swapper, where basically you create your template, right? You create your design where you're showing someone what type of personalization they can do on your store. Once someone buys it, doing everything the same that I talked about earlier in terms of using another app from the App Store to collect that information from them, you would then have an order from them inside of your Shine On account. However, because they they have the artwork swapper shine on is actually going to put that order on hold for you which means you'll be able to go and do all of your personalization and they won't start printing it until you upload the new design file with all of the personalization this is a much better option because there's no uh, manual processes there's no manual ordering or anything like that the third option for this video would be to check out the subliminator app now subliminator has a feature called custom nader where basically it's sort of like printful in the sense where people can change
exchange text, they can place an image somewhere, and then once they place the order, everything is received uh, by Subliminator and they print it automatically. So obviously that's a lot easier uh, than if you were just going to be doing everything on a manual basis. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this is pretty advanced. If you are if you are new <laughs> to, to print on demand, like maybe personalization is something that you hold off on. Maybe it's something that you wait until you learn a little bit more about how to use Shopify, how to actually use the various print on demand apps. And then maybe if you get a little bit of experience and you're feeling comfortable with expanding to that sort of a thing, you can give it a go. But like I said, personalization is a massive trend. There is a lot of people that are creating some really cool stuff and they're allowing buyers to personalize it and they're making a lot of sales. But like I said, you don't have to do personalization to be successful with print on demand. You can surely create non-personalized items and still make sales uh, on your store. So hopefully uh, this was a, a good overview for you. And if you explore personalization and it works, let me know down uh, in the comments. If you guys have watched the video this far, make sure to come join me in the POD Ninjas Facebook group. If you enjoyed this type of content, if you enjoyed learning about the possibilities of print on demand and you're not a member of the POD Ninjas group, check the link down in the description. Like I said at the beginning, you're also going to get access to the free mini course inside of the group where I literally walk you through the three pillars to a successful print on demand store. I share with you the strategies that is that has allowed me to make uh, the sales that I have and it has also been something that other people have gotten to work for them uh, as well. And like I said, that's a free course. It's right inside of the group. There's a link down in the description. Come check it out. There's over 40,000 members there as well. Uh, it's a really cool community and we would love uh, to have you uh, uh, there and also if you're watching the video this long drop a like on it please these put a these take a long time uh, to put together and uh, your support uh, would uh, would definitely be appreciated so uh, that's all I got for today folks I'll see you later